What's up, Big Ponians? I am Mato Konoi, and welcome back to Hangar 88. Today, I'm starting the build of the Master Grade Double X. So, before we get started, let's go ahead and grab our safety glasses, as we are using very sharp tools, such as hobby knives and flush cutters, and anything can happen. And to start off, we're grabbing bits off of the E runner. Power up the drum uh, Let's see. 26, 26, 26, 26, This guy right here. Careful snipping this particular gate right here. As it is attached to a peg, it's pretty easy to see when the peg stops and the gate starts. But uh, again, just be wary. That peg will be instrumental in this construction here. Let's see, 32 and 33. These guys right here. And again, resuming the style of uh, snipping all the pieces out. For the section and then uh, speeding through the shaving portion just to uh, make it a bit less uh, droll for you guys as it did especially since it did speed up the editing process for me so it would, so help me get stuff uh, edited faster so uh, that way I can get these done faster for you guys. But if you prefer the other method, please inform me so in the comments below. Even if you like this method or you don't care, it'd be nice to hear from you. Just so I know for sure. That is what I just snipped out, and then get our poly cap number six, which is right here. Foot. That little gap 
showing off these pistons that we're going to be putting together. Okay. Next is going to be off of the A runner. I don't know if my microphone caught it, but a flashlight just fell over. And that's 28. Also, now I'm going to need one of these guys, number one. You can definitely tell these are the triangles that are going to pop out of the kneecap, just like on the X gun to me, but no, they are different pieces. And that should be it off of the A-Runner. Let's see. Now we start getting into the B-Runner. Before we forget, PC-13. It's definitely going to be interesting to see the similarities and differences between the uh, or on the inner frame between the X and the double X. Let's see here, I'll try to set this up so it'll st so I can keep it all in frame, but still keep it organized. sections of the thigh right here on the end frame. Yep, we're going to take a lot off of here. <laughs> Yeah, definitely for this leg video, this is gonna this process is gonna shorten things up quite a bit, which I hope you guys can appreciate. Because I know I do. Alright, back to the B runner. for the knee joint. Thank you. 
that uh, these two pieces are so far apart on the runner. I guess that's just how they had to make space with everything else they got to cram on here. off of 
I uh, runner. Which is gonna be two and four. Oh wait. One and two. It's confusing order of operation with part numbers. Be very careful with that. What the what just happened? The bottle just fell over. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Next. Okay, this is the outside of that. This is after the armor goes on. That we are putting these guys off of the E run. That gate quite enough, but oh wow, I am going way out of frame here. Whoop! Twenty-five. Scan right here. Going back to the B runner. Grabbing the parts for the hip joint. Start on ankle. Yep, quite a few pieces there. Not getting used off of this B runner. It's just another example of would have been cheaper to leave it on. G and I'm knocking everything around over here. Okay. Number thirteen right here. Stuff off of E. So first, let's go ahead and grab these off of F. They're going to be 25 and 28. Right next to each other. Grabbing the frames of the, let's grab the other one that we've already started. 
There we go. Oh, that's the only one that they're on. Uh, and we're grabbing 39 and 41. There is everything we need. Looks like. Yep, that is everything we need to build a double X leg. So give me just a few minutes to shave these all down, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Finally got all these guys shaved down, so now it's time to start piecing them together. Alright, first off, we're gonna take these guys. Gotcha. This little guy is gonna tab in here. Peg in there. Right before we sandwich these two together. Next, we're going to take this guy, and longer end, the longer end facing back, slide those over to make those nice little pistons, and we're going to take these bad boys, Slap that poly cap in the middle. And this is going to go in here and make sure that this little peg right here on the bigger part of the piston tabs into this hole here. Whoop. Easier said than done. Slide them up the smaller part. There we go. Get it on there. Grab this piece. Sandwich it all together, and there's an inner frame foot. Right there. So next, we're going to take the bottom of the foot, or the base, or the sole of the heel. Plug it into the bottom. Take the back of the heel. Plug it in. Or slide it on. Here. And next, put the sole of the toes right in there. down this dark border here. And then we're going to put this little guy. A little yellow piece right on there. White top of the foot on there. And there is a completed foot. Set that to the side. Next, we're starting, oddly enough, starting with the thigh next. It's a little weird that we start off with the thigh, I go straight from the foot to the thigh, and then we're going to come back later for the ankle. Right there, 
is that familiar assembly going here and then we've got this little assembly very similar to the original X snapping together like so and taking these knee joints making sure everything falls into place there we go Sure, that guy goes in right. That little tab goes into that little trail there. Sandwich the knee joints together. And of course, I forgot to take turn my mic back on whenever we came back. Set that down while we turn the page again. And next we're grabbing calves. Making sure this little peg right here goes into this little slidey hole. Captions, don't you even. I know what you're thinking. Don't you even. You can odd, but you can't even. Alright, get that polycap in there. Apologies for the brief hiccup there. Um testing out these new rechargeable batteries or some older ones that I found lying around at home and uh, apparently not all of them aged that well so let's see taking these guys slap them on to this part of the knee cap right here They feel a little loose on there, but they'll be they'll surely be held on better once we get the kneecap armor on there. Sandwich the thigh armor together. And we assemble the shin armor. section this little nub going on the back back in the Achilles area or is it had to learn me to pay attention We're taking top of the kneecap, sliding in a little red triangle, and just like with the uh, X Gundam, there is a little recess in the triangle there that's supposed to be black, but once again, not too difficult to drop a little bit of black paint or get some black on the bunk in there. There we go. So with that cap holding everything together nicely. Next, we've got... Alright, we're going to take this little guy from D. Where is he hiding? There he is. So this little guy... Go. Apparently first we've got to put 
this 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 cap on first. And we take the other side. Slide in a little bit from the D runner. And then put that piece on. Sandwich the two all the pieces together. Next, we're gonna be building the foils, the little radiator foils. Put a little one on first, like so. Just a light, very light little clip. Next, we're going to take this little guy and this little loop right here on the bottom. in between a couple of little nubs on that bottom flap it's gonna snap together better if you hold this guy out speaking of which there's this little clip here gonna clip into that little bar across there nice loud snap on that one and then we're gonna take these two gray pieces Look like they're basically going to be the inner covering of. Yep, be the inside and the underside of the flap that's going to house all these. Flip up to expose them. Now that guy. Top of there. So we get a nice little view of those little vents sticking out there. Next, we've got the return of this hip joint. Pop it in there. And pop in the little cover on top of there. Before we pop everything together, go ahead and assemble the ankle. Sam is familiar guys together. Slide this guy on. I'm not 100 percent sure if this is the exact same piece or not. It looks very well, I think it's a little bit different. But we shall see later whenever we can have this guy standing side by side with the X Gundam. Okay, the guard and the frames together. Slide and the guard armor on top of there. Now, got all these pieces popped together. Making a complete double X leg. time that we got for this episode today guys so thank you so much for watching if you like this video beat that like button like it owes you money kick the annotation for more videos that I've done smack that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos coming up thanks again you guys and I will see you in the next video